Good morning. Here we are in my business budget for May 2023. It was a decent month. I didn't quite hit my goal, but we're going to go over the numbers. Don't worry, we're going to black unblack all these things and we're going to go over each number. But I want to go through each one with you one by one. So the goal for the month was $10,000. We're going to see if we hit that goal or not and we're going to look at it i'm going to show you behind the scenes of my analytics on youtube my blog all that stuff i also have some freebies for you as well so let's dive in first up is affiliate marketing in affiliate marketing i made four thousand one hundred thirty five dollars and eighty three cents so it was a pretty good month for affiliate marketing next up is digital products digital products i made sixty nine dollars and fifty one cents Honestly, digital products have not been much of a priority for me lately. I haven't been doing much promotion of them. I haven't been really making new products. I haven't been promoting them in videos. So I need to step up my game for digital products because digital products are a really great way to make passive income. And I have the digital products on both my shop, on my website, and then I also have them on Etsy as well. So I have them in both places. So if you're interested in getting started with digital products, then I definitely recommend having them at least on Shopify or Etsy or on your own website. But they're a great, great form of passive income. So $69.51 for digital products this month. Next up is YouTube ad revenue. And I made a total of $600 or I'm sorry, $761.32. My ad revenue is so low compared to what it was for the past five months. It is crazy. I used to be bringing in double this every single month. So this is honestly pretty discouraging that it's that low, but that's just to, the algorithm is not favoring my videos right now. And I'm trying to figure out what I can do to do it. So let's look at some analytics. Here's my main channel. So I have two channels, as you guys know, the channel that you're watching on now, and then this is my main channel, my original channel, Kelly Ann Smith. I have 52,000 subscribers on this channel. So let's look at analytics because we all love behind the scenes. So I'm gonna show you for May. And as you can see, it's real time. So 44,000 views of videos. I was getting 100,000 views every single month before so this is really discouraging like i said but it is what it is as you can see that the past since february views are way down since february before they were you know in the 60s and then july was ninety five thousand, and years prior was getting over a hundred thousand views every single month so this honestly sucks but it is what it is next is watch time so watch time this month was 2.8 thousand hours of watch time subscribers was 171 as you can see everything is just down these past few months and then revenue revenue was 735 dollars um, for revenue let's look at lifetime just to show you guys where we're at so as you can see revenue and everything was up a lot higher here i did have a really nice spike where i made i think 106 dollars on this day here it's kind of hard to hover over but 106 dollars was that month i have 5.4 million views on my channel 390,000 views and as you know 52,000 videos so my top videos for lifetime is why to stop following dave ramsey 315,000 views i don't know code and fetch rewards 302,000 how to use fetch rewards app 175 so I have one, two, three, four, five videos over 100,000 views, which is pretty good. This one is coming up soon. Um, this one it from is from March 2021, and this will probably hit 100,000, I would say, in the next, I don't know, three, four, five, six months. So that's pretty good, but we need to get a new video over 100,000. So let's get to it. Let's look back at May for the top videos for this month. So CIT Platinum Bank, 3000 why I stop following Dave Ramsey so this is a video that I made in August 2020 and it's still getting 3,000 views a month because people want to know the tea on why I used to be a Dave Ramsey channel and now I don't follow him anymore and then the 50 frugal living tips so as you can see it's getting 2,000 views this month CIT Bank, top cash back this one is a short with 1200 um, this one is picking up. This is how to fix a baby registry completion discount and an error that people are getting. 
And so that is behind the scenes on that. Let's look at content here. So May videos was, the views was 40,000. Subscribers, most of my subscribers are coming from videos and not from shorts, which is something that I always wanna look at of people are coming from shorts or not. I've heard that shorts are the way to get subscribers, but I haven't put enough effort into shorts to really get some good data on that. Um, most people are finding my viewers from search. I do mostly SEO content. I really like the SEO format. So almost half of my views are coming from search and then suggested video, browse features, external. So external would be me linking in a newsletter or me linking on Instagram or Facebook, something like that. The shorts feed and then others. And then let's see impressions, 426,000 views from impressions and then watch time. Let's look at audience. So you can see returning viewers and new viewers. Um, videos growing your audience, popular channels, uh, the best time. This is a TubeBuddy feature where with TubeBuddy, which I love TubeBuddy, I'll have them linked down below. With TubeBuddy, you can see the best day of the week to upload. And when my, my viewers are on YouTube, so this is telling me that my viewers are mostly on YouTube on Sunday afternoons, and then a little bit on Tuesday which is very interesting to look at. And then formats your viewers are watching on YouTube. So uh, videos, everybody watches shorts and then lives. So this is telling me that not too many people are watching lives, but most people are watching videos and shorts. This is very interesting data. Um, most of my audience is not subscribed. So 88% of my audience is not subscribed. And that comes from doing a lot of search related content, a lot of SEO content versus doing content that is made for my audience or content that is more browse. That's going to be more subscriber base. Um, 55% female, 44% male. Most of these male viewers are actually coming from that Dave Ramsey video, which is very interesting. And then let's see for viewers for age, typically 25 to 44 is the age. Let's look at revenue because we always want to see revenue. And let's look here. So as you can see, we're, it's been right around the $700 range for the past four months, which sucks, but it is what it is. All right, let's look at CPMs. So we have CIT Bank, this is $74 CPM, Why Stop Following Dave Ramsey, $31, Top Cashback, $53, CIT Bank, $51, Frugal Living, $28. This is really interesting to look at because these two videos are, have roughly the same amount of views, just a couple hundred views different, but it's over double and that's because of the CPM. And like this video, is a lot lower views, only 800 views, 900 views, but it's making almost the same as this video, but when you look at the CPM, so that's crazy. This one, um, this credit score video is $999 um, CPM, which is really high, that's really great. Let's see if there's any other high ones. This one is $125 CPM, but I've only gotten 44 views, so it's only made almost $4. This one is 52 views, only $3 because I, and it has $109 CPM. So I love looking at this data. Very, very important. All right, let's switch over to my other channel. And this is Start Your Online Business with Kelly Ann Smith. This one I have 1,400 subscribers, almost 1,500 subscribers. Let's look at analytics for this month for May. So 7,000 views, 241 hours of watch time and 89 subscribers. So we are, we're getting there. Um, this one is not monetized yet. I still am working on my watch time hours. So if we look at the earn tab here, so I have reached the thousand subscribers. I have 1400 and then we're working towards the public watch time hours of 4,000 and I have 200 or 2,319 hours. So as you guys know, I love it to check it out here on my little printable. And this is a pre free printable that I have for you guys as well. But, so if you want to get it, it'll be linked in the blog post. You can download this free printable. And this is a really great one just to visually see where you're at. As you can see, I'm over halfway there in the watch time hours. So we are just plugging away. 
And I do also have a freebie for you that I forgot to mention earlier. That is a brand new freebie. So if you're looking to figure out what side hustle is best for you of an online base and you just kind of weren't rendering what skills you have, what you can turn into, I have a full workbook printable for you that you can go through and figure out. It has some different tasks, different things that you can do to figure out your, your best side hustle. So definitely check that out. It will be linked for you in the description. All right, let's look at blog ad revenue, $98 and 96 cents. I had a paid post as well for $40 and then I made $50, $58.96. So let's look at Zoic. This is not showing for May, but the last 30 days was 66.13. And I had 5,681 page views for my blog. So pretty, pretty decent. I honestly don't spend too, too much time on my blog. I want to do more with it, but more of my focus is on my courses and really nourishing my courses and improving those and growing those. And then um, also my YouTube channel. So this is Zoic. This is my ad manager for my blog. Next up is courses. I made $785.95. I have two courses. First, Dream to Profitable. This is my course for people wanting to start an online business. So if you want to become a virtual assistant, freelancer, coach or mentor, start a YouTube channel, a blog, a podcast, sell digital products, then this is going to be the course for you. And I love this course. It's a something that's just a passion project of mine. And I have put my heart and soul into it to really just make it something that someone can go and do that is wanting to start their online business. And I wish I had this when I first started. So this is Dream to Profitable. Then I also have a little course on how to save money on groceries. This one is only $19. It is just actionable tips on how to save money on groceries, how to meal plan, how to meal prep. It has a full workbook and video lessons. I love this course. It is a great one, especially in the recession nowadays. So those are my two courses. Next up is memberships. Membership um, was 98.12. I have two different memberships. I have a Patreon and Discord, which is just a community membership where we just talk about life. We talk about money, give money tips. I do my personal budget report card videos on there. And it's a really fun community. And then I have a membership that is in addition to dream and a profitable course that goes even deeper into building an online business and that has weekly lessons that has monthly q a calls and it's really just deeper course on behind the scenes of email marketing sponsorships and really just deeper on growing and scaling an online business next is coaching um Coaching, I did one client this month of 8180, and that is budget coaching of helping um, him help reach his financial goals. Instagram, Instagram took away their bonus program, so I am down a revenue stream. This is completely going away. They are no longer paying anyone for reels, which really sucks because that was a, a decent income stream there. Next is freelance, and freelance with $250. And that is um, helping a local realtor with her social media. So $250 for re freelance. Next is sponsorship and sponsorship, no sponsors this month. And next, drum roll please, total income for the month was $6,281.49. So decent month for income. And like I said, it didn't reach my $10,000, but I was over halfway there so we are working towards that goal all right let's look at expenses so expenses is um, a couple different small expenses so i will teach you to be rich this was a journal workbook for 13.58 and then i bought a um, email marketing course and that was 58 dollars. so 72.57 for education equipment i had to buy some content planners for 15.24 um Marketing was $55.95. Travel, I did a business dinner that was 38 miles away or 38 miles round trip. That was $24.89. No clothing expenses this month. Do some subscriptions. These are all just the different things that it takes to run my business behind the scenes. And this was um, $1,412.43. So a lot of just random different things throughout the, um, throughout the month. 
Um, food, Papachulu, this was the business dinner that I have and that was $11.56. It was a little taco place and it was delicious. All right, so total of all expenses was $1,592.64. Then my total revenue, as you saw, was $6,281.49. My owner's pay, so this is what went to my family, to my personal budget. And like I said, if you want to see my personal budget, I do have it up on my Patreon, um, was $4,397.04. And that's what helps pay my mortgage, helps feed my family and all of that. 30% of the total revenue, which is my expected, my goal to spend on my business for operating expenses is $1,884.45. Like I said, I want to spend about 30% reinvesting back into my business. So operating expenses minus 30%. So what I would have remaining is um, $291.81. So let's look at income here so as you can see throughout the months let me actually hide these okay so we have january through may and as you can see total i made have made twenty five thousand dollars so far and you can see the totals for each so total for affiliate marketing so far for the year is twelve thousand three hundred thirty one dollars this is definitely my highest revenue stream digital products for the year eight hundred twenty one $823. Google AdSense, this is just for my main channel, $4,185. Blog ad revenue, $274.68. Instagram, $265. Courses, $3,681.19. Memberships, $295.36. Coaching, $401.88. Freelance, $2,500. Sponsors $250, speaking, no speaking so far this year, and total of $25,008.71. Then down here is the hours worked. So I worked 72 hours this month, and that gives me an hourly rate of $87.24. My goal is $100 an hour, so I was a lot closer in April than this month, but it is what it is. So that's an average that I've worked of 71 hours for a total of $69 hour, average hourly rate. So that is my income for the month and I do have a blog post as well on this so check that out down below.